last spring Banggood accidentally sent me two of these uh, boxes with uh, blue nano inserts to try out and together with these uh, yellow ones that is a whole lot of uh, pointy bits so I bought this uh, boring bar it also came with uh, even more pointy bits um, I bought this for a project I had planned had planned because so far it never happened and uh, it won't happen with uh, this boring bar um, because uh, there's a significant air gap between the uh, insert and the tool bit I'll uh, edit in a picture because it's pretty hard to see on camera besides I uh, did improve things by stoning the uh, pocket and that is uh, something I recommend for uh, Chinese lathe tools in general they are pretty good but uh, the milling on the uh, insert pocket can be a bit rough so this one was uh, definitely flawed so I uh, started a warranty claim with the uh, Banggood customer service and while I wait for a replacement to be delivered I might just have uh, the perfect plan for this uh, failed boring bar That might be harder than expected, but I don't think it will be a problem. It's a bit hard to clamp down because of those flats. That will have to do. This here is my, uh, uh, well let's call it a uh, uh, milling fixture 
and I used it a while back to make an ID shear tool. Here it is. And to be honest, I never used it, so I'm not 100% sure if it is a uh, shear tool. I guess if it uh, shears, it is. But this time I'm going to use this to uh, try and make a, a boring bar out of this uh, filled boring bar. I'm going to set this up and then mill a flat here and uh, then drill a hole. Instead of uh, using the face mill to create a flat spot for the center drill, I've decided to go with the normal end mill. Alright, let's see. I angled this flat down a bit to this side. And that means that uh, a future pointy bit will come up a little bit when uh, this is set flat against the uh, future set screws and this angle here that is basically guesswork but I think it uh, should work so let's mill a flat spot on here those chips look a bit like a drill bit I bet I could drill right through that thing. Well this setup is not going to work. Uh, I will hit the uh, milling attachment over here when the uh, drill breaks through. Alright, that looks better. Let's try this again. That's enough. That end mill must have been sharp because it had no problem cutting that boring bar steel. Let's set up a center drill. Important detail. seven millimeter drill bit and I'm going to ream that hole to eight millimeter and I should have used a smaller uh, end mill I guess that was my first mistake for tonight there will be more I have no doubt about that Cutting so bad. Huh. 
it needs more pressure than I like. Um, it might be the hardness of the metal. I'll try a smaller drill bit first. Maybe that works better. Okay, this is a 4 millimeter drill bit. Let's see if that works. Looks better. And I'm breaking through. That's enough. Okay, I'm going to look for another uh, seven and a half millimeter drill bit. Preferably one that drills. Looks like I only have crappy seven and a half millimeter drill bits. This one has uh, been spun around in a drill chuck more than once, but it feels kind of sharp. So let's try it. Again, very hard to drill. What's the problem here? I don't think it was surface hardened. All right, I'm going to take a gamble and uh, resharpen this myself. All right, wish me luck. Here goes nothing. What the hell? Is this being possessed or something? I had it for today. Tomorrow evening I'll continue. I just drilled a little bit deeper with the center drill and uh, while that wasn't without noise it was struggling. Now I'm going to try this uh, fancy high cobalt high speed steel drill bit that uh, hasn't been used before. Let's see what that can do. It has been dropped on the uh, concrete floor once. That's probably not a good thing. Well, last thing I'm going to try tonight. Ah! Success! Sweet success! And that's it. Jim, bedtime. Another day, another step. Let's uh, ream this hole.
I should probably change the belt, but I'm going to try it uh, like this first. That's, uh, I think, that's about 150 RPM. And 13 Hertz. That's not a lot. It might stall out. So far, so good. A bit more motor oil because I ran out of uh, cotton fluid. Chips are already coming out on the other side. Alright, that's far enough. I'm surprised the uh, frequency drive didn't stall out. It doesn't have uh, factor control. So there isn't that much power at uh, 13 Hz. That's a nice fit. So now I'm going to use this pin to line up the workpiece so I can cut a flat on this side for a set screw. Break! Let go! I just lined up the uh, face mill with a pin using a metal plate to set it parallel. It's not perfect but it's good enough. I had to flip the uh, fixture upside down and uh, so it's no longer on center and uh, that is why I'm using a face mill and not a uh, end mill. I know it's a bit of a dodgy setup, but I've done it before, so I know it should work. Although that's no uh, guarantee. I don't know, it doesn't look and feel very flat. I might need to uh, change the inserts. There's definitely a bit of a burr there. Uh, let's try again, see what happens. Hmm. It is not working as good as. Uh, I was expecting. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. It uh, might lift the workpiece off. Nothing happened. When I got my Chinese lathe, it came with this box full of uh, end mills. Most of them have never been used because the um, uh, milling attachment for that lathe is uh, kaput. But let's try and uh, use this big 16mm end mill and see if I can uh, improve that flat spot 
before I drill a center hole. Sharp. <laughs> the underside is a bit rusty. Sides are still fine. How does that happen? There must have been uh, water in that box. This looks like an ER collet set, but it isn't. It does work uh, on the same principle. It has the uh, same sort of collet knot uh, with a ring that uh, hooks up the uh, collet. I found this uh, collet set on the local uh, flea market and it's a whole lot better than uh, that ER32 set that I uh, reviewed for Banggood. That was probably the biggest garbage you can find in this world. Roll. And this is going to be another first. Let's see how this goes. It didn't do a whole lot, I think. I think it feels better. Okay, bigger cut this time. Two tenths. That's definitely an improvement. I want to make this surface a little bit bigger so I can uh, use a M5, maybe M6 set screw. That's wide enough for a uh, set screw. A bit of heat. That's enough. Um, 4.2 millimeters, and that's for an M5 set screw. I'm a bit close to this side, closer than I like, but it will be fine.
What was that? I tightened up the drill chuck. Alright, let's try again. That's kind of weird. It was slipping. Why? Let's see if I can get it any tighter. Not a lot. I guess I gotta move on. Maybe I was going too fast before. Damn. It scared me. The horror. And it hasn't broken through. Why? Oh, again. Because what else am I going to do? It cannot be much further now. I'm feeding it in very slowly. It's like it's uh, want to grab that drill bit. I don't know, maybe the uh, fixture moves. I see chips, so we're almost there. And now I also see the drill bit. Well, that was kind of weird. I decided to go for an M6 uh, set screw, so this is a 5 millimeter drill bit. The hole will be very close to this side, but that shouldn't matter. There's enough meat there uh, for a set screw to sit a little deeper. Hopefully no more drilling problems tonight. Yeah, I can see the drill bit on the other side. A little bit deeper. That's enough. Okie dokie. Um, time for some threading. Okay, uh, M6 uh, taper tab. And I'm hoping I can get it started. It stopped. I'll try and finish it with the uh, tabbing wrench. I can see the uh, tip of the uh, tab.
it doesn't feel good. I might break a tab today. I have the tab supported with the uh, drill chuck. Uh, let's see if I can get it loose. And if I'm going to break a tab tonight, it better be on camera. It broke free. What a suspense! Although, I'm not sure if I will be able to uh, finish this thread. There might be a bit of a uh, very hard material in there. It's also possible that there is a burr on the inside. The normal tab has gone all the way through, but I also need to use the uh, bottoming tab because it cannot go far enough uh, to complete the uh, thread. Actually, I'm surprised it worked. Um, I'm back at that place where I think I might break the tab and I had to change to another bottoming tab a very questionable one but it's the best I had but uh, at this point it feels uh, stuck so here goes nothing Not too tight. Yeah. It does come loose, but I'm at it for at least an hour now, and I still haven't made the thread, and that kind of sucks big time. I might need to hacksaw that off and uh, start from the beginning. Before I hacksaw this off and start over again, hoping this will be softer, I'm going to try and install a set screw over here. Um, I set the spin. Uh, more or less horizontal, so the hole will be drilled at uh, the correct angle. Let's try this. I think I'll go for a uh, 4.2 millimeter drill bit and uh, install a M5 set screw. I don't think uh, there is enough material for a bigger set screw. That's more like it. Hmm. The uh, hole doesn't really line up perfectly, but well, it's not too bad. Let go. Come on, give it up. get this uh, taper tab started while in the drill press so it uh, lines up nicely with the uh, workpiece okay I'll see if I can finish this in the vise Well, that was uh, easy enough. Um, 
Now I'm going to uh, move on to the second stage. Last uh, stage or the bottoming tab. Hopefully I got things uh, lined up correctly because that's always a pain to do. It is threading pretty easy. Although it gets harder. Sorry, but freaking camera is in the way. This bottoming tab is harder to do. It really gets tight down there. That's a lot of oil. This is good material to break a tab. Well, I managed to get the uh, hole threaded, but I did uh, destroy the uh, bottoming tab. Luckily it didn't break but it is missing uh, a few teeth. But lucky for me that uh, terrible set of Banggood tabs that I reviewed last year it uh, came through. It should not have lasted much longer but I think this will work. At least, uh, well, at least I accomplished something tonight. I do find it kind of weird that this uh, material is soft on the outside and uh, harder towards the center. Usually it's uh, the other way around. Well, I plug this hole here with a set screw. It uh, just doesn't uh, go far enough and I will now make this a little bit shorter and call it a day. Then in the uh, second part I will grind a tool bit and make a holder that will uh, fit on both of my lathes. Um, Alright, camera battery is almost dead so I guess that's it for today. I'm going to do some editing. Till next week.